Alright you guys, got another ransomware video here for you. This one is called Hitler 2. It's another uh, type of ransomware that demands money and threatens that it's encrypting your data. Again, this is the second version of Hitler. Uh, now in the first version, I've done a lot of research on it and a lot of people are saying that it was uh, ransomware in development. I'm not so sure that is quite true. I think it's more of a someone that's created it and uploaded it somewhere and it's more of a uh, some script kitty or some sort of uh, person that's created this uh, to uh, be more malicious. And it's the same thing for this second version. If you look when I inject it onto the system, you'll see that it does more damage than good. So let's take a look. I'm going to click yes here. And you can see here already what it's doing. Now this is the second version of Hitler and also they've corrected the uh, ransomware spelling here. Um, we're just going to continue this here. So as you can see, they're demanding 20 euros. So it must be the same person that's created this uh, unless someone's got hold of the, the original and made some edits to it. Now they're asking for 20 euros as I said. Now you've got this flashing uh, taskbar here. You can't do anything here if you look. It won't let you open up a taskbar or anything like that. Also, it won't let you close it off here. You'll get this coming up. So really, uh, I can't see the point in asking for 20 euros if people aren't gonna be able to do anything with their computer. So it says to me it's more malicious and more of a um, type of uh, malicious type ransom rather than trying to get money. Now to stop this from happening, you're gonna need to either falsely shut down the computer or you can uh, use Control Alt Delete. Let's try that now. Now, once you've got Control Alt Delete up, you should have a selection here. Now, it's no good selecting uh, Start Task Manager because it will stop it. I'll show you. As you can see here, it stops that. Now, in Windows 10, you won't get this flashing bar. This is just fills the whole screen up uh, on Windows 10. So let's take a look at uh, how we can get about closing this off going to push control delete again now once we're here what we need to do is restart our computer we're going to come down to this little red bit here and click restart click OK and force restart now this is going to start to boot up again So this, was, this is what makes me believe it's just more of a malicious prank or something of the nature. Because if you look here, the ransomware is gone. So if they were demanding money, this would be constantly popping up on your screen. So people saying it's unfinished, I'm not so sure. I think it's more of a, someone messing around. So you can see it's done a lot of structural damage to the uh, operating system here. We still can't open up Task Manager. As you can see here, application not found. Uh, you can't open Google, Chrome. Can't open any of the other browsers, Firefox. If we look inside here, you can see all this has now been changed. Uh, so these are all file associations that have probably been changed over the fault, something simple like that. Um, they've made it a bit more tricky for the average user to get it working again, because if you type msconfig, you'll see that it, it's uh, blocked that out. You can't do it. So regedit, all these programs you can't run and stuff like that. So as you can see here, they've they've tried to stop you from uh, using the computer. So let's take a look at a Windows and we'll go into here. Now you'll see inside here uh, there is loads of uh, files that have been changed and it's like notepad you can see you can see them changed here now let's try to uh, change the folder and search options view and show hidden files folders and drives and I'm going to take the hide extensions out here so we can see what extension you can see here um, there is a, an extension that's been changed now to download a program off the internet, which you wouldn't be able to open the browser, but you can do it, and I'll show you how to do that now. 
Uh, so first off, let's take a look at uh, Windows here. Now you can see here Notepad has got an extension of EXE, but it's stopping me from opening this. So let me go about and try to fix this. So first off, what we're going to do is come down to the run bar here. Now if you're in Windows 10, you can open up this area and come up the top here and push delete and then type in a, a web address which you want to use okay so we're just going to do google here you can use .co.uk or .com depending where you are push enter and that should open up your browser now once we've got our browser open, there's no good downloading Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and all these types of programs because they won't run because they've changed all the associations and stuff. So what we need to do here is try to fix some bits first. So what we're gonna do is type in here, fix file association. That's all you need to do. Uh, once you've typed this out in Google, push enter. Now, whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 7, you need to get the right type of uh, fix. So I'm going to come down here and you see there's tools here that allow you to do this. It's no good because it won't work. So first off, what we're going to do, it's going to come down to this site here. And it, as you can see, it has some nice little uh, files that we can download. So we're going to download the executable one. I'm going to open this and we're going to drag that onto our desktop. And also, I'm looking for, let's see. Okay, so that'll do reg maybe. Let's get the reg file open. And there we have that on the desktop. Now, if you're looking for Windows 10, just come back here and look for Windows 10 file associations. Not sure if this site will have them. You can have a look here. Now this is a program and that's not going to be much good to you. You need uh, registry files. So let me just see if we can find one here. Just put Windows 10 in. Let's see if we can find something for Windows 10. You can see they're trying to uh, there you go. If you'd like to download the available extensions, you can click on these here. You can see them here for Windows 10. Okay, executables. Now, once we've got those downloaded, you'll see these files here. So this is our executable file. You see it's a reg file. It's not being recognized because they have changed it. But I'll show you a way around this. So what we need to do for the executable. So we're going to do the reg registry file first. And right click on this open with and uh, what this is going to do is allow us to run registry files so that's why we're fixing the registry one first so you don't see it in the list here so we're going to leave the tick in always select and click browse now from here we need to go to the windows directory inside the windows directory you're going to need to pull down until you find regedit.exe okay click open and now you should see that there. Now we're going to click OK and now we can run that file. Now we need to say yes and we need to say yes again and now that's changed the registry file and as you can see it's now recognizing these. This is going to allow us to run the executable one uh, to fix our EXE. So you can see uh, we have EXE one here And we also have this one, which is your registry one. Okay, so now we've got those done, we should be able to open the registry editor. So as you see here, reg edit, and now we can see we can open up the registry editor, as you can see here. But we're interested in running the executable files. Okay, so now we need to go back and open up 
Google again. We could have done this earlier on, but I forgot to download it, so we'll do it now. It's no big deal. So we're just going to go back here, and we're going to open up Google.co.uk or .com, and then we want to open up here and go Windows Repair Tool, and then we want to go to Tweaking.com. Now you can have the installation one or the portable one. I'm going to go for the uh, portable one here. I'm going to go for a direct download. And uh, we're going to save this file. And you can see that there. So I'm going to drag this onto my desktop. We've now finished with that for a moment. So now what we need to do is open up our archive and drag it onto our desktop and there we have our program now what this is going to do is going to fix our issue I'm going to open up the repair windows and then from there we want to go to the repairs tab open up repairs Now here we want to take the tick out of all of these. We don't want to run all of these. I always see people running unnecessary uh, fixes that they don't need to run. Only run the stuff that you need to run. So for a start, I can see file associations, which is something that we want to fix. So we want to fix all these here and all of this because it's all messed up. So we're going to do that by fixing all the file associations. The next thing we want to do is going to push up here I'm going to reset the registry permissions just in case they've been clever enough to do that. Reset the file permissions and reset server permissions. Now there's also um, something else here. Remove policies set by infections. We could also do that. And uh, we can also do this one here. So we're just going to leave these as is and then we're going to push start repairs. And this takes a bit of time, so I'm just going to run this, let it do its thing. Okay, so that's the actual uh, fix is now completed, and it wants to restart so we can then fix the rest of these. So it needs to do that. So I'm going to say yes to this and let it restart. And uh, I'm just going to quickly speed this up. And we'll just let this boot up. Now this process will be the same for Windows 10 as well. You can use this same process but uh, to fix Windows 10. Just use the different registry keys, that's all. And you should be good to go. So there we have it. We're back at the desktop. And as you can see here, all our icons are back, everything's fixed, and we can open up all our programs, run our Chrome, everything else, as you can see, everything's back. So whoever created that malicious uh, program needs to do a bit more work and making it a bit more stronger. But as you can see here, pretty straightforward and easy to do. Now, uh, you still need to probably try to remove the actual ransom itself. I don't think it's the reason why I don't think it's a, a legitimate thing because obviously all the data is still not um, encrypted here. It's still uh, normal. So it said it was encrypted and it hasn't. So I'm not sure what that is about. And of course, all you need to do then is run your usual uh, scanning software like Hitman Pro, Malwarebytes, ESET Online Scanner, all your tools to remove any other malware that you may have on your system and also remove uh, any remnants of this but pretty much uh, you could go ahead and do that as long as you've got your data safe if you wanted to and be ultra uh, protective you could back up all your data and wipe the system and put the system back to uh, default settings of new fresh installer windows anyway i hope this one helps you out guys i'm going to wrap this one up my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button 
Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers or any video requests or anything like that, then head over to the forums, that's the place to be. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Okay, thanks again for watching. Hope this one helps you out. Bye for now.